In this pick a card reading, we're looking at their dreamy daily thoughts of you. Hi, my name is Mystic Me Emotion, and thank you for joining me here, uh, mostly in the moment, for another pick a card reading. Around the time that I'm posting this, Saturn is going direct in Pisces, which is having the lines between fantasy and reality being blurred. So we're going to be looking at what they're doing day to day around this time and how you seem to pop up in their fantasies, their daydreams, and their thoughts of you very romantically. So it's going to be a fun reading. This is, of course, timeless, so it will resonate whenever you watch this. We have four piles here. We choose a pile based on the number, the image, or the crystal that resonates with you. I just want to say thank you so much for your likes and comments, subscribing, and ordering readings. It means so much. Um, I'm reading some of your comments recently, and it just makes my heart melt. It's so nice to find people that like resonate with me on that level, resonate with these messages, these high vibe messages. It's like finding kindred like souls. It's like-minded high vibe energies. It's, it's really, it's a nice feeling. And so I'm glad that we found each other and, and that we can enjoy these messages together. So I hope you enjoy the reading and I wish you much love and light. Hi, beautiful pile 100 with the pyrite. Let's look at their dreamy daily thoughts of you. Okay, King of Cups. Okay, so I feel like, and the Justice card, I feel like they're not happy with their romantic love life right now. They feel like they could do with a really good partnership. They can do with the hugging and the kissing and the, you know, touching each other while watching a movie, um, doing cute things together while grocery shopping, holding hands while walking, um, keeping each other warm during the cold cold weather, going for a swim. Like they're like missing the more intimate little details of having a partner in their day-to-day -day life. I'm getting and it's making them really think about you in all all the best ways with the justice card like wow this person is really fun to hang out with just one-on-one -on -one. they're someone that I could never get bored of and I could just sit in the same room with them silently and be so happy and feel like I'm doing something feel like I'm having the best day just sitting in the room with them both of us doing different things as long as they're in my energy in my space like I'm happy like just doing anything with them going for a quick walk around the block going like just to a store or to the grocery store or to a restaurant grabbing a quick coffee like they just brighten my day like even doing I'm hearing doing taxes with them or filling out forms with them like getting even some of the more serious things done in life like getting a house or you know going to go pay a bill or um looking at furniture like there's it's so much fun with a pile of hundred like I'm getting that they're missing you in just everyday life wow okay so what else are they thinking king of pentacles so the king of cups and king of pentacles both came out in reverse so I, i'm feeling the strong feeling like they're feeling a huge lack a huge lack of a relationship so i don't know if they are single or if they feel like they're not with the right person or they really wish to be with you or rather be with you they're really really feeling it right now like really strongly pile 100 um four of wands oh wow yeah, they're feeling a lack of a really good marriage or long-term relationship. They're feeling the lack of living with someone or living with someone that they could be really comfortable with, really happy with, feel really harmonious and joyous living with. So they're, they're, they're feeling like they're losing you or if they're not with you, they're just feeling like a huge hole in their heart and in their life without you being in it and they're thinking about like look the justice card which is like the romantic partner the very venus energy very Venusian. 
and the Four of Wands marriage and the King of Cups, King of Pentacles, like a partner, like a, like a husband or wife, a spouse, like they're really strongly thinking about the lack of a good partner in their life, a good wife, a good husband in their life right now. So your person is really feeling it. Whoever you were thinking of when you pull this pile, they're really feeling a lack of a serious, romantic, committed relationship in their life. They're like realizing all these like little things. Um, for example, they're like during the holidays, having someone come with them to family events or someone to buy gifts for, someone to like, you know, share hot cocoa with or something like that. Um, just feeling very like, like there's, I'm missing out in life. And I'm not missing out by just having anyone in my life. I'm missing out by having not having a hundred pile one hundred. I'm not having pile one hundred in my life. I'm getting one hundred percent like facts. Queen of Wands. I feel like um, there's people around them. Who might be interested in them or who might be like who's just like available and single around them they might even be in a partnership or a relationship or dating someone um but they're they're seeing this person as like just someone temporary or just someone wild and crazy like not someone who um like they're not seeing this person like these like potential mates as um, having the whole package like you're the justice card here with the four of wands like you are what people hope and wish and dream for in a way for husband like the dream romantic lover that's that's you like perfection and not just your interests and passions and what you do how you live life uh, you know, your looks, um, how how you keep your life very balanced, how you're so well-rounded, how you have so many talents and skills and the way you do things, how it's, you just make everything more fun and everything more enjoyable and make more sense to them. It just, you're the person that everyone wants to like wife up or like Mary, because like you are incredibly fun, entertaining, interesting. Um, you also like your space sometimes. And yeah, there's a lot of people, um, potential mates out there that are like very loud and whatever. But I feel like compared to you, King of Cups, oh my goodness, look at these cards, like so many kings and queens. Um, they're like, you're going to get someone who loves you very much, who you feel is deserving. Like, I feel like they attract people who, at the end of the day, might care more about themselves or care more about their work or care more about their friends or care more about family and other people. Like, not that they wouldn't necessarily, like, care, not care for the, their partner, but, like, people who, like, potential mates that are a little bit too, like, boisterous. Like, they kind of too loud. They're kind of too, like, independent. They kind of like their own space too much or they kind of like hanging out with other people too much or they kind of like hanging out with their partner too much in a clingy way when, when it's not, like fun so I feel like they're attracting people who are just kind of like not exactly what they want and you are exactly what they want you are exactly what they want and they're noticing these things because like the way that they they see these other potential mates um kind of interact with life it's so like temporary like they might be fun for a second but then they get really sucked into their own world or um I don't know it's kind of like 
they care more about how they come off looking to other people rather than how much like actually caring about their partner and actually caring about what their partner thinks and enjoying time with their partner kind of thing right like they're always putting on a show it feels like and you have such a rich i'm hearing rich power rich like femininity or masculinity that you are gonna attract someone who so deeply loves you and they are super jealous of that because they are also king of cups they're also someone who really deep deeply loves you or wishes they can or wants to and they know like if it's not them it's going to be someone else and they're super like jealous and they're like rethinking life and seeing things from like a higher perspective and they're like feeling kind of like panicky like oh my goodness am I gonna miss out on pile 100 and they're looking at the people around them they're like oh my goodness they don't even hold a light to pile 100 and so now they're freaking out a little bit page of pentacles okay they feel like um things aren't interesting them anymore things aren't like kind of taking off like I feel like they don't want to use an online dating app and when they meet people they don't they're not like interested or pulled in by people um, they feel like everyone's kind of like now after meeting you <laughs> and um knowing you and stuff everyone seems kind of like not in the same league as as you like you've taught your person even like to respect themselves more and what to look out for just by being you you taught your person pile 100 like the do's and don'ts of finding the right mate you know and so now they're looking at everyone they're like oh my goodness these are all children <laughs> And even if they're like older, it's just like they're so immature. Like what what are they working on in life? Like what's their long term passions and goals? Like what are, what goals have they reached? What have they have they been like what's some like real things that they're accomplishing in life or want to accomplish in life? And like it's kind of like like I don't know, like the wool is coming over coming off over their eyes or something I, think, I don't know what that saying that saying is but someone pulled wool over their eyes but like the opposite like they're like I feel like they can finally see things like clearly and they're kind of in shock a little bit about who they've been choosing to hang around feeling like they had all the time in the world or there's always you know bigger fish in the sea or there's other, more more fish in the sea or something like that and they're realizing now that like oh crap like what did i what am i doing not pursuing pile 100 um locking this down spending every moment with them enjoying life together with them like what what else is out there like, what am I looking at? I think they just got, like, a dose of reality. Like, they might have, like, joined a dating site for, like, a second. Or they might have made a, might have went to, like, a friend's party or something. Or um, got, like, set up on a blind date by someone. Um, maybe uh, met someone at a grocery store and started talking to them. And, like, found out really quickly that, like... The vibe was definitely not right. It was very low vibe or just not good quality person, like good quality person or just at least, well, not. Now that they know what to look out for, they're just like, oh. Everyone kind of sucks out there. <laughs> so they're, they're seeing that. Six of Wands and they're seeing how you are definitely bound for a very successful connection you might even actually already be in one or you might be like very close to being being in one um and this is one of your potential romantic suitors 
pile 100 this person that you pulled cards for but if not like there's someone coming like very very soon that's probably why their like soul their spirit their energy is like freaking out a little bit because they're now getting the sense that they might lose you soon if they don't act so they're definitely getting those kinds of feelings so let me pull some um cards to see like signs this is your pile this is your energy this is in fact what's happening with your person so i want to see like something that has happened recently for you to prove this is your reading wedge okay someone is trying to become come between you and a friend or something you want okay so i'm getting like cheese like a brie or i don't know some sort of wedge cheese so if you just like recently purchased wedge cheese or you were looking at looking at buying some or just like looking at what was available at a supermarket recently or you went to a party and they had like a you know like a really kind of like security board or I'm getting like something with the wedge it could be something like um you noticing a specific like doorstop or something but I'm getting those two things so if you so cheese and doorstop <laughs> that like really like stood out to you and something that you see around the time of this reading a yoke feeling tied down or frustrated so I didn't really know what that was but it's kind of like something that you put around animals so they can like plow land and stuff um so I'm getting kind of like farming tools um, or farming equipment, farming vehicles, um, like a tractor or a plow or anything, anything with gardening or farming tools, but like something a little bit like big, bigger, bigger kind of tool. Um, so if you see something like that around now, like you just saw something right before this reading or right after this reading that has to do with like gardening or farming tools so that's not a sign and then in the near future a whale so um i'm also getting this as a sign from the universe that this person might have been kind of blocking you a little bit because you might have been interested in them Okay, I don't know if you hear that, but there's a car that's like annoyed and like honking down the street at someone. I, I do not like what a like, I don't care what kind of date you're having. <laughs> like you're useless to the world when you do acts like that. But um, yeah, I'm getting <laughs> that sense of frustration, first of all. Um, I feel like this person might have been telling you to hurry up. Or that they're trying to like, that they didn't like that you were trying, you felt like, it felt like you were trying to rush them in this connection. And it was like, you weren't trying to rush anything. You were just kind of following your heart into what you wanted, which is apparently like a more serious relationship and someone who wants that and spend time with them planning about planning and talking and doing those kinds of things. You have the six of wands here, so you are successful. You're going to be successful, but you might have been feeling like tied down um, because of this person. They might have been not moving anywhere. This might have been someone you were in, were in a relationship with or were kind of waiting for them to come around, and they just kind of didn't, and now they're finally waking up, but guess what? You have a whale here. Great worry over nothing. It's a really good, positive good luck sign. Um if you look up the spirit animal for a whale, um, that, yeah, you are about to receive a lot of abundance. You are about to, you know, get your white whale. <laughs> I'm getting like, you are going to meet that person, whether it's this person or someone else. You, you have six of wands. You, you have victory. You don't, you're going to, don't worry about, you're worrying about nothing. Like, um, whether, whatever this person does, it does, doesn't matter. It, everything works out for you in terms of romantic relationships because look at you you are the ideal candidate okay so pile 100 i hope you enjoyed your reading if you did i appreciate a like or comment it really helps me out on this channel to continue channeling messages like this for 
for all you beautiful folks. So thank you so much. And I hope you have a beautiful, beautiful rest of the day. And I wish you much love and light. Hi, beautiful pile 311, the cell site. Let's look at their dreamy daily thoughts of you. Okay, three of swords in reverse. Okay, they're extremely heartbroken over you, pile 311. Wow, they think about you a lot and with a lot of pain and sadness and anger and regret. Oh my goodness. Mostly sadness and regret. Ace of Pentacles. Oh my goodness. Okay, I think it's because um, you might be you you might be getting a new opportunity or offer or new life. So you might be getting into a new relationship, or you might be um, getting a new job offer that puts you away from this person, like further away, or um, just some some sort of opportunity in life. Um, They, they wish they wish they were able to get to you before you receive this offer um, but they feel like they were a little bit too late or they feel like um, now you won't give them uh, like they have like you'll get you won't give them that much thought because this opportunity might mean more to you or something Um but they do daydream and think about what would have happened if they I'm getting if they didn't mess up. I don't know if they did or not, but that's how they they feel. They did. They feel like they messed up. Um, if they handled things differently, if they just told you how they felt, um, and they still daydream about this to this day, whether they're in connection with you and in contact with you and communicating with you or not, I do feel like this person is um in a lot of uh pain over how they did or didn't handle things with you maybe they wanted to give you an offer but then they didn't and they still think about it and wow yeah it it eats eats them up it tears them up inside okay the fool card so they feel like they have to like start new, start fresh, start a new life over again if they want if they want to like continue living. I know it's, it seems dramatic, but like I feel like they're at that kind of place where they're kind of like their feelings feel very big and dramatic and you know, it hurts. Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, so they're like I have to start over. I have to work on myself if I ever want to work at a chance of being with pile 311 so they kind of know like they kind of know they they went at this connection with you pile 311 in the worst way like in the almost opposite way that they should have they might have not trusted you they might have not made the right moves towards you um they might have said the wrong things they might have behaved not in the best way or um they might have waited too long they might have whatever it is it's just they just feel like they went about this this connection with you in the wrong ways and i'm getting that they're no longer blaming you or anything else in their life they're taking the blame themselves they're taking accountability um and so they now are ready to kind of make a huge change in their life like completely change 180 in order to kind of work at having a chance with you and they're taking it step by step they're working really hard I'm getting um, five of swords they still get like a bit of like negative thinking um, you know how like when you make a mistake with someone it just kind of like um, haunts you for like a week or two and you just like you're just randomly I don't know like making dinner or something you're like oh why did I say that one thing or why did I do that one thing and then you just kind of like scrunch your head and it's like it just annoys you and it just pops up like randomly throughout the day for like weeks on end and it's just like 
it's, it's so cringe it's so embarrassing that you're just like why why did I do that and it just pops up randomly so they're still having moments like that throughout the day like in the past whatever a few weeks or whatever they have been kind of getting those like pings um yeah so regretful I'm hearing um king of swords in reverse so I'm getting that you are honest and you were honest with your shortcomings. You were honest with what you wanted with your person, Pile 311. You were honest about what you wanted in life, what you expected in a relationship, what you're, what you're still working on and trying to get better at. Um, you were honest with your person. And you were kind of waiting for that honesty back. And your person just never gave it to you or never quite gave you gave it to you in the way that you needed. In fact, some of the things that they said was like so made the connection worse. Like it's it's just like what's your end game here, right? You're you're just like, what what are you trying to do? Why why are you saying those things? Um And you can, you can tell it's coming from like hurt or pain or for like the lack of not knowing how to say these things, confusion and stuff like that. But like with your energy being so like ready for something, like ready to start something in um in like I'm hearing the proper way, ready to start like a connection, a relationship or restart a connection um, or relationship in like the proper way. Um, you're looking for someone who's putting in the work. No one's perfect. You even admitted that. And you're like, I just need you to be honest and to communicate. And I feel like they didn't say anything. And if they did, like what they said was like, out of left field, like so random and hurtful or not helpful. That's for sure. Um... Yeah, so I feel like instead of like their dreamy thoughts of you, which I was trying to uh, channel messages about, it's more of like a nightmare. Like they're reliving these like things that they said wrong and did wrong over and over again with you um, in regards to you in their head. Okay, Knight of Pentacles. Um, I f I've... I feel like they kind of um, kept saying, or one, one day, one day, you know, like maybe down the line, you know, I still have so many things I need to do. Um, you know, I have to focus on this and that. Like, you know, I just, you know, my car, I just had, just got car issues or I just got this new, new responsibility at work or, you know, I, I have all these things going on with my family and friends and they kept pushing you down to the priority list like they, you were last on their priorities list of priorities and it's just like you know it, it got to the point where it's just like you you didn't put up we didn't believe that one day would ever come or something like that um and they're realizing that and they're like trying to do everything like i mean with this eight of pentacles and this knight of pentacles they're like trying to do everything now so if you're in contact with your person 311 if you're if you're in a relationship dating them or um talking to them you you might notice this like they're trying not to lose you and they're trying to do like everything that you said all at once that you wanted from the connection like they're trying to prove it by doing everything at once but obviously it's not gonna work like you can't do all those things overnight you know um lover's card oh my goodness I feel like with the Fool card here and the Three of Swords, like you, this connection really did break them or whatever went wrong in their life. Like it might be not, it might not be you. It might be like their last relationship or it might be some other situation in their life that really left them heartbroken and kind of at a really bad place. And they might have been slightly taking it out on you, um, maybe a lot because you're like, okay, like I was looking for something 
serious that we can work on, like a relationship that we can work on and build. Um, and they just kind of felt like they weren't there. And it's just because they needed to like reset and they were doing it while they were, I'm getting engaging you. So I'm getting like, they were still like trying to keep you around but they had like a million other things they need to do. They need to completely reset their life. And like, um, it feels like you're like, okay, like you gave them, you gave them an ultimatum. Like we move forward or we don't, or are you with me? Or are you not? Or is this what you want to, or, you know, like, like I need an answer now. Um, and good for you, pile 311, because I feel like that's, that's what brings, in your lover like you standing up for yourself and not take not like letting your person kind of keep putting you on the bottom of their priority list like good for you that's that's the wake-up call that they needed so I'm hearing that like either your person 311 that you're thinking of um actually wakes up starts a brand new life like starts like resets themselves gives them the ch- them the space that they need to like reset themselves and actually come at this connection wanting to work work on it seriously everything that they said that they it's like oh later tomorrow and one day they're working on it now um i'm hearing either way so even if you choose to be with this person or or not they do come to you showing you that they're willing to work on it but for some of you they are actually serious and they are putting on in steps taking the steps like baby steps one day at a time kind of thing making these changes for uh, for the others of you I'm getting like about half maybe 30 percent like they're just they're saying this but they don't know how to do it and so they're trying to do everything at once and they're gonna burn out and they're gonna quit within a week or two or like less so just use your intuition and sense into if your person is actually approaching this connection in a very healthy way, um, restarting their connection, restarting the um, their own life and coming at this more seriously and actually showing you the progress that they're making step by step, day by day. And if not, I'm getting... Path 311, that spirit is bringing in a lover for you because you did it. You, 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 I'm getting you past the final test. Like you stood up for yourself. And spirit's like, yeah, you're deserving of a partner who puts you first. And that's what you're getting. So, yeah, 311, whatever, I mean, whatever, whatever works, right? You, you did it. Okay, so I want to pull some signs that this is your pile. So if you recently, in the recent past, like yesterday or something, saw like a rat, someone working against you or on behind your back. Okay, so if you saw like a rat, a mouse, a hamster, um, a gerbil, a beaver I'm even getting, um, a possum, or any kind of animal like that randomly I'm getting like either brown or white that are um that might be nocturnal but doesn't have to be that's that's a sign if you saw it recently it doesn't have to be in person. It could be like, you know, you just saw like a random picture of it or someone was showing you like a video clip about something to do with a rat or something. Fire. So if you recently, um, like just before this reading or just after or just like, you know, last night or tomorrow morning, you, you get you something unusual with a fire. I don't know. So seeing it like in a unusual way in like a video game or um, uh, something unusual with the fire, like if someone made a good drawing of a fire or like 
you know, she saw a random fire when you were driving somewhere. <laughs> um, like someone's having a fire pit outside. <laughs> or like, hopefully not <laughs> just a random fire. Um, or someone got like a, like one of those candles that makes like fluttering, like fire noises, like a woodwick candle or something. But something like very specific or unique with a fire. And then in the near future, a bat. So again with a nocturnal animal, but this in this case, like something that flies that's black. So like a bat or like a crow or a raven or um a grackle, a starling, um, a blackbird, just any kind of like blackbird like that, or that's mostly black. Um, in the near future, so in the next like day or two, um, that's also a sign that this this pile is for you. Okay, so with the rat and the fire and the bat, the extra message here is. Um, Yeah, like they were, they were working against you or maybe like I'm hearing like lurking in the shadows. So like they knew they weren't doing right by you. They knew that they kept putting you low on their priority list. They knew they were doing wrong by you. Um... There were also other energies around that was not being very helpful to this connection. But I'm getting it's not like evil um, energy, although you might perceive it that way. It's not. It's just the spirit's way of saying like, you don't deserve this. Stand up for yourself or this person isn't right for you or this person isn't right for you right now, like unless they show changes. And so like with the fire being like um, strong emotions and passionate love, like the lover's card here, like you deserve something very passionate with a lot of love burning through the two of you, um, a lot of intimacy, a lot of passion. Um, and like it was gonna, it's gonna be perceived as like maybe like, their friends or family were saying bad things about you or even your friends or family were being like, no, you shouldn't, you shouldn't go for this person, 311. Um, but there's something where you had to like kind of let them go in order for them to come back correctly. And if they didn't come back correctly, to not take them back. Also to make your stance and being like, you're not putting up with this. I need to be someone's like number one priority or up there most of the time and you are someone who deserves great passion and love you give that and so you deserve someone who gives that back um so it's kind of like a test um and i'm you know i said in the last message that you passed the test because you you did stand up for yourself and so spirit is bringing in like a true passionate ideal lover for you whether it's through this person or another person so use your intuition pile 311 i'm so super excited for you hope you enjoyed this reading a like or comment would be really really helpful so continue putting out divine messages like this so we can all find our beautiful divine counterpart right um soul sisters helping soul sisters and brothers and so I hope you have a beautiful rest of the day and I wish you much love and light. Hi, beautiful pile 633 with the fluorite. Let's look at their daily dreamy thoughts of you. I say nine of wands. I'm getting there very busy. Running around, doing multiple little tasks throughout the day. I feel like their work keeps them busy. Their responsibilities outside of work keeps them busy. 
And so they do think of you in a form of escapism a lot. But the times that they think about you the most is when they're by themselves, away from these stressful responsibilities and tasks that they have to do every day. And they go on a walk or a hike or they're just driving around with music. Anytime that they're kind of feeling more relaxed and they're alone, they tend to think about you more. And they think about how you kind of give them this feeling. You give them this feeling of relaxation, peace, that nothing else really matters, and that they can just stand still for a second. Five of Cups. They're really feeling um, a lack in their life because they wish they can do these things with you. They want to be able to go on these like hikes and walks and long drives and solo trips and you know seeing the stars at night or you know I'm getting more like natural things but even like just like more quiet things that people sometimes do by themselves. Um, they wish they can do that with you. Go to plays, movies, um, just places where you can go by yourself to get some peace and quiet from the rest of the world, but they wish that they could do this with you. I'm hearing picnic. Um, I'm also hearing um, swimming or kind of like picking up things near the ocean or the sea or something, near the beach or something. Um, I'm, get, I'm getting like building something outside, so gardening or building like a shed or landscaping or, you know, throwing like a nice like little backyard barbecue or just lunch between the two of you or you, you two and your family or whatever. I'm feeling this kind of longing and sense of like it's 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 like a subtle sadness um a feeling of like they're happy to get their space they ha they're happy to get their quiet time but now they wish they could have their space and quiet time with you you know they feel like it brings more peace and more freedom and more independence and more space and quiet than when you're not there, which you might think is like, what? But don't I talk to you a lot? Don't I, you know, interrupt? Don't, you know, don't we make conversation while going on walks? But don't we, don't I just point out things that I want to do and you're not always up for that? And they miss these things about you terribly. Oh my goodness. Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, I, I'm getting this like really sad, like, image of them kind of just like doing the things that you two used to do together and it might have been just like once you might have just did this kind of thing with them once like I don't know maybe plant a plant or um when I don't know like I'm getting like berry picking or apple picking or something about like getting something from nature or the market, going to the farmer's market, going grocery shopping. But I'm getting more, it's like more hands-on. So it's like something you two did together. Something that people might normally do alone anyway, like gardening or something like that. But they did it with you and now you've ruined it for them. They can't ever do these things ever again as happily alone as they could be with you. Oh. Um high priestess you bring like an extra layer of intuition intellect uniqueness in things you i'm getting like you have your own like ways of doing things you're very i'm hearing articulate you have your uh, you have a particular way of thinking about things, seeing things, saying things, viewing things, doing things. Um, 
it just keeps life interesting. And I'm, um, and I get from your person in 633 that like, it, you don't even have to try. Like just being you is, is exquisite I'm hearing. So I feel like this is someone who has like more of a refined taste or wishes to have more of a refined taste and they feel like you bring that out of them or make them want to explore that side of them where they get to I'm getting get into like more detail like for example if you're like oh let's plant some vegetables like okay let's let's plant all the best kinds of vegetables like if you're trying to plant a specific plant like let's do all the research of this specific plant or something um if you're getting like a specific piece of furniture or if you're getting like a specific bottle of wine to pair with like whatever food or something like there's something about like being a connoisseur or um like having a partner to kind of explore different hobbies that has to do with taste and refinement um or just something like more of like a unique specialized hobby they miss that about you They daydream about being next to you and doing those things with you. The things that you would bring up, the things that they think that you would say, you know, it's like, oh, 633 would definitely mention this or something like that, you know? Okay. Seven of Wands. All right, so we got the two sevens here. If you look up angel numbers, 633, but also 977 would be a good one to look up for this. You're right. They're on the right path. So I feel like you taught them how to not care what other people think. And I think they always were kind of like that. They might be a little bit rebellious or they might be kind of like, I am the way I am. I like the things I like and that's that. Um, And you accepted them for who they are and they also... But I'm getting that they didn't completely accept you for who you are. So although you accepted them for who they are, and you liked the way they saw things, the way they spoke about things, the way they, you know, their perspective on life, and the way they, the things that they noticed about little things, like, you liked that about them, and you accepted them, and you liked that they, like, didn't care what other people th- thought about their interests, they, um... You did what you felt was right and they did the same thing. They didn't fully accept you. And that was their that was their downfall in this connection. And in in life in general, like they you accepted them for who they are fully and they didn't completely accept you for who you are fully. Although they might have appreciated it and mentioned how much they like this stuff about you, they might have not accepted you. Fully. So Ace of Wands. So we see here that they wish like a lot, especially recently, that they can just come up to you and like compliment you, I'm getting. Compliment you, take you out, um, have a little fun with you, you know. Um, they kind of want like a in the moment spontaneous interaction with you and they daydream about this a lot they also daydream about you kind of rejecting them a lot because in their own mind they feel like you're too good for them why would they want why would they respond to me why would they like you know message me back or say yes to this date or um say yes to hanging out with me or you know fooling around with me like why would they say yes pile 30 uh, 633 is so like pure of heart they give out such unconditional love i didn't give them back that unconditional love so they just imagine you saying no to them over and over again. But they do imagine, even though they they imagine getting rejected by you, still asking you out on those things. 
what how they would ask you out what they would ask you out for like specific kind of date ideas or adventures or walks or food they think about it all the time like oh i should reach out to pal 633 to see if they want to do this or that or this or that you know seven of cups seven 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 So something about this connection is was definitely right. Like this was a destined connection. You two are meant to cross paths. You two are meant to give each other something to think about, to learn and grow. This was a very intellectual connection, very intuitive. You two are um, on the same wavelength. There's like a um, meeting of the minds for sure. Um, this person their like lesson one of their lessons was to choose you and to choose you over and over again like without a doubt uh, but I feel like for some of you they stopped choosing you um, hmm and they're like kind of sulking about it. They're like, oh, if I only could have 633. And they could if they just continue to choose you. Um, I'm not sure what, what, why they stopped. Um, they might have just thought that it was like too much. Maybe I feel like they're, they over overanalyzed this situation for no reason. Where, like, if you're in a relationship with someone, you choose to be with that person every single day. You know, you make a conscious choice that, like, this is my person. I'm going to do whatever it takes to make this connection work. To make them happy and, you know, feel whole. And um, to make this a really well-oiled partnership. Working partnership. And I don't, I feel like this person might be, like... They might not have that much, that many facts or wisdom, good advice on relationships. And so they don't understand the, the concept of like choosing someone over and over again every day. And so they got kind of tired and they kind of might have just like stepped back because they don't, they didn't realize that like that's something you have to keep up with. Um... And then they are, they just kind of like overanalyze everything in their mind and that kind of stops them from making decisions or asking you things asking you out on dates asking you if you want to do certain things asking you if you like things and just complimenting you and just like out of the blue saying things to you because they think about it they daydream about it a lot um they just like kind of overanalyze and freeze three of pentacles they really do want to work with you and they think about it often like maybe you know maybe we can start being just like just start with friends friendship you know or friendship again maybe we can just um you know um get a project going so we get to see each other every day maybe if we hang out with some friends um they can't say no so they're 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 thinking of solutions to this connection, but in ways that it would have just been easier if they were direct, you know? They're trying to figure out workarounds, and they're making this more complicated than it is. Pile 633, that's what I'm getting. Okay, so let's pick it, look at signs that so this is your pile. Vacation kite. So if you saw a kite in the recent past, if something comes to mind right now um, where you saw a kite in the past like week or a day or two specifically, um, that's an indication that this is um, your pile. Also, if you, something with a hand, so I'm getting palmistry. Like, so if you saw an article or a picture about reading palms, reading the lines on your palm or how different fingers relate to different energies what finger to which where which ring on 
Um, if you've seen that kind of any kind of stuff like that, if you saw like, you know, a video on like um, henna tattoos or um, maybe nails, but like I'm getting mostly like rings, bracelets, but more to do with the actual hand itself. So reading, reading lines like palmistry or doing henna or something like that. Or maybe even like a drawing of a hand. So if you see that like recently, like last night, right right before this reading, right after this reading, or the next morning or day or two, like that's also a sign that this is your reading. And love. Aww. So in the future, I'm getting, it's so funny, all, every single pile had love or the lover's card or something like that towards the end of the reading so I, you know you you know like I'm we're connecting with folks on this channel right now that are about to come into really strong beautiful love in their romantic love lives so um if you see like a lot of hearts in the next day or two um, that's also a sign that this is your person and that they're thinking this. They're thinking a lot about you. They think a lot, a lot about you when, um, when they're busy and especially when they're alone um, with a lot of space and freedom. They do think about you a lot. Okay. And with the kite and the hand and the love as an extra message for you, pile 633. Um, vacation, in need of help, assistance, and guidance, and love. So I'm getting that you might be guided to take a vacation. And this is really going to help with your love life. You might be thinking, how am I going to meet someone when I go on vacation? Or am I going to, you know, what, what's going to happen? And Spirit is saying, if you are in a relationship or dating... Um, taking a vacation with your person or like a solo vacation will really help strengthen this connection. It will give the space that both of you need either together or separate, you know, use your intuition on what's, what is right for your situation to, um, move the connection forward. If you're single or in little to no communication, um, a, a vacation, um, you might, by, by yourself or with others, um, that you're going to be guided to is definitely going to help you in your love life by like something you know the universe has a million ways that they use things like this like a vacation going somewhere to kind of give you an opportunity you know get over a lesson that's been blocking you from moving forward in love or um Whatever it is, like give them the sign that you're going to pull away if their energy doesn't act or something. Like you never know how the universe works, but like I'm hearing if you go on a vacation or a, a trip, either solo or with other people, you'll know what it is because you'll be guided to and you'll feel like, oh yeah, like this is, this is something I need to do. Um, it might be for love, make, it might be like a trip for a wedding or maybe to see a loved one. Um... Or just something you love and always want to go, like a place you've always wanted to go. Or just a trip, you know, just a trip that you're guided to go to. Um, maybe someone recommends it, maybe someone invites you along. Whatever it is, it's going to help your love life. So take that trip <laughs> or, you know, use your intuition, follow that gut feeling. All right, pile 633, I hope you enjoyed the reading. I really appreciate it, like or comment. If you resonated, liked this reading and lets me know that you you like this kind of format and it really helps me out to continue putting out highly divinely spiritual message channel messages like these so thank you so much i hope you have a beautiful rest of the day and i wish you much love and light hi beautiful pile 844 with the lapis lazuli let's look at their daily dreamy thoughts about you okay so what are they up to five of cups in reverse okay um, I, I, it feels like they're kind of feeling a little lifeless, a little hopeless, 
um, like they're circling the drain kind of just watching their life pass by alongside them they might be feeling like they're watching everyone else do what they like and have fun with the people they they enjoy spending time with their partners their friends their co-workers and they're just not and they just feel like they're missing out on life um when it comes to you the five of wands okay two fives they're constantly thinking about like the little kind of cute fights that you'd have or disagreements and they're like they're like i would give anything to have that cute argument or fight or disagreement with pile 844 again because it gave them such a spark for life it gave them such purpose and it made them feel alive and well and like they're pursuing something noble and they're accomplishing something that is meaningful that they're talking about things debating things thinking of a problem a solution to a problem a creative solution to a problem that that matters to someone that matters to you 844 at least um they want to feel like important or valued or just needed and you made them feel all of that and more they just enjoyed your talks so much i'm getting the feeling 844 that you might have not you liked conversation with this person as much you might have thought you were the more interesting one or fun one or maybe they were just in a dark place so you're like oh you know after a while they were just kind of dark or sad and you know they need to get themselves out of that you did as much as you could um maybe one of the reasons you had an argument towards the end or something i'm hearing or the last conversation you had um, or like you do really enjoy conversations with them. Um, you find each other very attractive, um, personality wise in, in your interests, in your conversations and look wise, you guys are very, both like very sexy. I'm getting. Okay. Six of wands. They're having like daydreams of being successful and achieving things. So they're like, yeah, like if I got that promotion or if I had this title, if I had this car, if I had this kind of home or if I had this kind of, you know, spouse, family, house, whatever, like people would be looking at me, I would feel so much better about life. But we all know that's not true. Like having more things isn't going to make you feel better. Like it really starts from within. Yeah, certain things here and there, sure. But material things physical things money is that going to make you feel better if there's already a problem at the root and um comes to you emperor yeah i saw with the 844 energy it's very like a very powerful stable secure energy great foundation I feel like your person, 844, sees you as someone who is like very secure in who they are, what they want out of life, what you are able to achieve, what you already have achieved. They look, look at you with some sort of jealousy. This is probably the basis of a lot of conflicts that the two of you had that arose in your conversations and your relationship with each other. The fact that they were kind of jealous that you had a lot of confidence in who you were, who you are things that you pursued in life, um, your career, um, your look I'm getting, so the way you dress, your fashion, um, your, the way you present yourself, the way you talk to others, um, you might have a really good, good social skills, good charisma, and you had very like lofty goals i'm hearing so like they were very um big big goals and because you weren't afraid to dream big and go after bigger goals bigger dreams um or maybe they were like smaller goals but you had a lot of them um they gave you such 
like a magical characteristic. It made you seem greater than just mystical and so vibrant, very royal. And they're, they're, they're a little bit jealous of that. They always kind of picture like, oh, what if I was successful or I looked really good or I could afford these kinds of clothes and cars and, you know, watches and whatever. Like people would be saying, look at me, look at me. People would be like wanting to be me. I'd be so happy being in that position where I had more money or I had more style or I had better like conversational skills or personality or traits or skills or talents or wit or humor or looks or know-how status whatever um so they do really see you as someone like very grandois very regal fit to be a king i'm hearing or fit to be a queen like They don't even care whether you actually ever accomplish these goals or not and achieve your dreams or not. Just the fact that you have them gives you such a interesting personality. They're saying compared to themselves. And the thing is, I'm getting from Spirit, like they have a pretty decent life. They just like refuse to see what they have and want what other people have. Yeah, okay. So when they think of you, they think of a, they think of like you in that kind of setting, like a CEO or, you know, a movie star or, you know, a very popular musician or someone with like a really popular social media page. Um, people wanting to meet you, interview you, take pictures with you or talk to you, get to know you, that kind of stuff. They see you as if someone very... Um, like special like people will be lucky and want time with you and it makes them feel very unspecial being around you which it shouldn't be the case like if, if if that's how they're feeling around you like that's not good for you or for them okay three of wands i feel like they um continuously do things like this person like keeps themselves very busy so they they feel like they're doing things in life you know what i'm saying you know people who um who don't take a second to just like stop because if they do they'll feel worthless kind of thing or they're not, they're not doing anything that they're wasting life or that they're not being fun or someone cool or someone who's like out there doing things so this person is like constantly on the go they're constantly going out with their friends visiting like family driving here driving there working on different hobbies and stuff like that posting on social media because they all they know is go 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 okay and what about you ace of swords They some, somehow think that if you happen to bump into them, if they happen to bump into you while they're in the middle of being very busy, that they'll come off really good looking to you. So we're getting into this person's, like you 844, we're getting into your person's like real deep psyche here. I did not mean to do that. I want to do lighthearted, dreamy situations, but their mind... Their dreams are <laughs> unexpected. Sometimes I think of these titles and like, I'm kind of guided like through my guides in astrology and, you know, everything spiritual. But then like I'm kind of scared by the results. <laughs> like that's how I'm feeling with this. It's like, did we dig too deep into this person's head? Like their dreams, like do, do we actually want to know these things? Um oh my goodness so they're, they're constantly daydreaming that like oh maybe if they're out you know like like in this picture like surfing or um 
you know, hanging out with their friends in a really cool bar or a really cool like spot or, you know, they're doing this or that activity and they're out and about, they dream that like you'll happen to bump into them while they're doing one of these cool activities. Oh man. So I'm scared to look at this, but what, what are some other things that they're doing here? Day to day, eight, eight of wands again, yeah. They are keeping very, very busy, but because it, they think that's what impresses people. They think always being on the go, always doing things impresses people. And plus, I'm getting it, it allows them not to have enough time to think about how sad they are. Oh, God. Okay, so with you, the magician... Again, with the Ace of Swords and the Magician card coming out in reverse, they th somehow think that they'll like bump into do bump into you while they're doing something very busy, or they'll be successful if they continue like working on their hobbies, working on their career goals, working on their like social life or something. Like they think it impresses you, or that like you um somehow magically it's going to work in their favor in attaining you I'm hearing in getting you um and I'm not getting this that's that's the case I'm getting like it's getting you kind of more frustrated um it's making you feel actually more lonely when it comes to your connection with this person 844 it's making you feel like you're on the outside of this person's life, that they don't care to connect with you, that they don't care to connect with themselves um, on a deeper level. So why would they want to connect with you on a deeper level? And so it's giving you actually all the opposite signs of what they're hoping to give you, ho how they're hoping to come off to you. Wow. Okay, so I'm going to pull some cards to see if this is indeed your person so we got camel so if you've seen i'm getting a camel or like a desert animal recently yeah in person or but also um just randomly come to you on like a tiktok a tiktok or like a youtube short or just like someone sending you an emoji or um a gif or something a meme with like a desert animal in it if you think right now and in, in the recent past like last day or two or just like last night or this morning or whatever you saw like a desert animal that's that's a indication that this pile and energy is indeed for you okay younger man Okay, so something with, if you saw like a picture, I'm getting if you saw a picture of someone you know, like their baby picture or them when they were like a kid or a teenager, like when they were younger, that's also a sign. So it could be this person, if you saw a picture of them around now, around the time, like right before this reading or right after or around this time, you see a picture of your person when they were younger randomly that's a sign it doesn't have to be specifically a person it could be someone else it could be like um i'm getting specifically someone that you haven't seen a younger younger version of them like picture of that like you someone that you, <laughs> someone that you know um I'm getting it's a male, but it doesn't have to be. It could be female. Um, if you if you're if your person is a guy, then yeah, it is a male. But if you're watching for a female, then it's it's a woman. But someone you know, but I, I guess don't know that well. If you haven't seen like a picture of them when they were a kid, yeah, that. 
So a friend or just a coworker or someone you know, if you see a picture of them when they were younger, a baby, a child, a kid, a, a teenager, or even when they were just like much younger, that's how you'll know this pile is also for you. And one more sign in the future, pig, be be beware of greed. So I'm getting like literally a pig. So if you see someone like gorging food or being kind of like an a-hole um so someone who is like literally gorging on food or someone who is um really inappropriate with other people especially sexually whether it's male or female um you know being a pig um Or like greedy to a fault, you know? If you're just out at a restaurant and you just see someone just being like, oh, no tip because blah, 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 blah. I'm not talking about those like tip things that everyone's like has to tip in. Like, no. Tipping culture is too crazy right now. Um, but I mean like, you know, someone being like really outrageously greedy out in public um maybe even a relationship even if you know like a, a friend or a friend or a friend who's like dating more more than one person and they like more than one person or something like that um and, and not a healthy way like actually just like not being honest with folks um maybe cheating on someone not telling the truth um being kind of Yeah, promiscuous, but not being honest about it. Um, or, or someone just kind of, yeah, hoarding hoarding wealth, hoarding food, eating a lot, being a really gaudy, having too much, like showing, like wearing too much, but not for the sake of like fashion or to make a statement or a style, but like for the sake of like showing off kind of thing. So that. So if you see that in the future, that's also a sign. Okay, so putting all these cards together, I'm going to give you an additional message, 844, with the camel, the younger man, and the pig. Um, I'm getting... I'm getting with the camel, persevere, and you will overcome the problem. I'm getting you're going to get on option you're gonna get a decision like spirit is going to bring in another person for you so you have this person but you're gonna also have another person come in i'm getting maybe not even this person that you're thinking of i'm getting like you might get two other romantic love interests come in and whether you're in the market or whether you're in the mood to date or if you're single or not, um, it doesn't matter because it's like you will have these two romantic interests come to you. Maybe you're just, you know, grabbing one a quick drink at a bar or you're, you're waiting for a friend at a restaurant or something or, um, you know, you're, you're at an event and you meet two, two new people, okay? There's, there's two new people that you don't really know and Spirit's going to be like, they're both going to be interested in you, whether you're romantic open to dating some of these people or you're not open you're not on the market or um you're even in a relationship like you're not you're, you don't have to like <laughs> flirt or like date any of these people or go back into their hotel room with them but to, there's gonna be two people who are gonna have like a crush on you or have a romantic interest in you you know and they might start flirting with you and you have the choice to go with the pig or the camel you get you have the choice to pick one person so like both of them might be like oh can I grab you a drink another drink and um you're gonna have to choose which person gives it to you or something or you know someone might ask for a dance or someone might like offer you their seat or someone might um both of them might open the door for you and you know, choose like which door to go through um and you so you're like not 
you know, like outright like choosing one over the other, but like you kind of are, you know, it's kind of in a, you're in a position where you kind of have to, you don't have to, you can pick like, a third option, but spirit is basically saying like, if your discernment skills can pick the camel over the pig, like pick this person that would do right by you. And if they did something wrong, they would do everything in their power to make it right. And no, no matter how long it took. Versus the person who just kind of wants to win. Who just kind of wants to like show their friend up. Who's not interested in you actually. But like just trying to like shut down their friend. Or um, be like, oh look how many people I can get to be on my side get how many numbers I can get how many like chicks or whatever dudes I can get whatever that will be your challenge and then if you pick the camel over the pig like spirits like we're gonna make some magic happen in your love life we're gonna bring in someone who actually will persevere and help you get through overcome any challenges in um a relationship I mean you do what you want with your person A44 this person just seems like they have a ways to go before they get on your level look at look at your cards you're like a f fantastic like divine royalty here so I mean it's your life do what you want but like the spirit is saying you know camel or pig <laughs> All right, so I hope you enjoyed this reading, 844. If you did, I really appreciate it, like a comment. Um, I, I'm going to be more careful with the kind of prompts I use because, like, this was a little scary, you know? I, I didn't know how, I didn't know where this was going, you know? I didn't know if I was wanted to go <laughs> where this was going. Um, but, hey, we got through it. So, yeah, a like or comment would be <laughs> really appreciated. Um, <laughs> I hope you have a beautiful rest of the day and I wish you much love and light.